How can we solve this integral without using integral by parts? Now, I construct an integral log bx dx. This integral is kind of similar to this one, but the only difference is I insert a parameter here, b. The integral is with respect to x. But as b changes, the integrand also changes. The integral value probably will also change. So this is in fact a function in terms of b. Call it i of b. Now, if I differentiate with respect to b, what's going to happen? First of all, I can... What I'm doing now is that first I do integration, right? then I do differentiation. Somehow I can switch the order. Okay? First I do the differentiation inside, then do the integration. All right, so like I said, differentiation inside first. Now, uh, long story short, it is perfectly legal. I, I've done a video in the past explaining why. Or you can refer to the book Mathematical Analysis written by Zorich, a relevant chapter, Parametric Integration. Uh, so in this case, uh, we also call Feynman Technique. So like I said, first integration standard integration. So before we integrate, we focus on differentiation. Since it's differentiation with respect to b, which means x is a constant. All right, so put bx at the bottom. Using chain rule, differentiate inside bx. Like I said, b is the variable now, x is the constant. So we just simply multiply by x. All right? We've done the differentiation now. We can do integration. Right? That is simply like 1 over b. Antiderivative is just x over b. All right, x from 0 to 1. OK, that is 1 over b. Now our job is just to determine the what's i of b. Because remember, that's the result of the derivative of i of b, which means i of b must be the antiderivative of this, which means that is just log of b and plus c, because it's an indefinite integral at the end of the day. But before we proceed and plug b into zero, b equal to 1, because I'd like to know b equal to 1 gives me log x, my goal integral. i of 1, that's my goal. Right? So, in other words, i of 1, which means i of b equal to 1, right, log 1 plus c. That is my this, uh, goal result. What is that? Uh, but the question is that, what is c? I know what, when I plug b into, plug, uh, plug 1 into here, I already know uh, log of 1, what that is, but what is c? Can I have plug some special value? Don't think so. Right, if I plug b into 0, log of 0, negative infinity, integrate from 0 to 1, useless. I, I don't know what that means, right? what, what that is. So helpless. Uh, b equal to 1, you plug into there, no, not helpful. Um, I want to achieve log of 1 somehow. What kind of b gives me uh, log of 1? No way. No. 
<coughs> so in this case, it's impossible for us to determine the value of c. Okay, now can I relate log x to something that I know of? Can I find a function, perhaps, whose antiderivative contains this, or whose derivative contains this? So, what kind of function whose derivative contains this? Now we treat, of course, we treat x as the constant, and let's use t for the variable. So, perhaps this function, the base is a constant, t is the variable. Now, in that case, I want to know what's the derivative in, with respect to t. We have the standard differentiation. x to t times log of x. Like I said, treat x as the constant, right? Whatever the uh, base is, constant times the log of the base. And, and copy down function, right? That's the uh, exponential uh, function. So that way, that contains log x. How can I further relate to, to that? If I let if I let t equal to zero, I immediately have one times log x, right? And that's my uh, integrand. So now I'm just gonna see if I can int integrate zero to to one of my this function, right? So, uh, no, I want, uh, in fact, different integrate this. I want to uh, integrate with respect to x, right? So, that is, in fact, like I said, this is that, so, dt bracket dx. So again, like I said, it's uh, perfectly legal in this case for us to switch the order of differentiation and integration. So uh, first, integration, then differentiation as opposed to first differentiation and uh, integration. Still, x to the t and uh, dx. Okay, so this time, what is that? Now, x is the variable, right? x is the variable. t is the constant. I, previ previously, right, when I constru constructed, t was the variable. Now, t is the constant, all right? So this x to t is a power function. Base is the variable, power is the constant, so power function, and standard rule for that. Uh, Antiderivative is just power plus one at the bottom. X as the base, right, as the variable, power plus one. Okay, so X from zero to one. Okay, so what is that? One over t plus one, right? Remember, like I said, uh, first uh, integration, integration, then we do differentiation, yeah, the differentiation, last step. Okay, this is uh, t plus one to the power of negative one, therefore we just use negative one. So uh, negative one reduced by one, negative two. Okay, so put it on the bottom to the power of two. That's the derivative. Right. Okay, so that is in fact the uh, this uh, 
integral. Okay, so if I so uh, for the same reason, like I uh, said, here x so with, as t changes, the integrand also changes, right? So uh, integral depends on t. So i of t. Now, like I said, as long as I let t equal to zero, I immediately have log x, right? Immediately the goal integral. So all I need to do is to find out i of zero, right? Then I'm done. So like I said, this is the ultimate result after I did all the work. And so that's that, all right? So t equal to zero. Right, so negative one. So that is the yes, the goal integral, desired integral. Okay. And perhaps we can double check that by differentiating uh, the integral by parts. Right? If I, if I let, I'm sure this is correct, but let's just be, you know, be safe. dv to dx, right? Since it's easier for me to uh, find du, right? du is just one over x dx. Yeah. V X. Right. Otherwise, otherwise, if I if I set uh, d v equal to log x, then it's impossible for me to find the antiderivative of that. Right. So the question, so d u is uh, easier. Yeah. So I have u times v. Minus, right? Previous, previous was u dv. Now it's v du. Okay, zero to one. V du. Okay, what is that? One times log one zero. Zero zero. This is gone. This is what? Just one. It's gone negative. So antiderivative just x, right? So 